What is up everyone? Today we are playing in the Early Access event and we've got quite a few different decks uh, lined up for today. Um, this one that we're playing is Just Sky Tokens. This is a deck built around uh, making a bunch of tokens basically. Uh, so we got Third Path Iconoclast, Grove's Hive as our two drops to make a bunch of tokens. We have some counter spells, make disappear and protect the negotiators. Uh, this is good on two if you have some of your creatures down and it's much better uh, turn three and later because you can kick it and make the tokens. Uh, Lantern Flare is a secret all-star of this deck because uh, for two mana you can deal an insane amount of damage in a lot of cases and gain a bunch of life back. Uh, so just very, very sweet card. Uh, of course, Wedding Announcement we know is good. And this is a new all-star from the new set, Invasion of Segovia. Really, really great card, especially when you, you've gone wide a little bit and you drop this and you immediately flip it. Then you get to immediately untap your stuff and convoke. Uh, it's insane. It leaves for some really explosive gameplay there. So this card is awesome. Um, and then in the trenches, pretty good anthem for our tokens. Also a good exile late game. Uh, definitely a nice card that fits in the deck. Um, Wandering Emperor, also pretty solid. Though arguably could possibly be switched out for something because four mana is a little bit expensive. Uh, and then Rabble Rousing is a very strong card. Also, again, a little bit expensive, but if you get this down uh, when you're kind of in like maybe a stalemate sort of state, this will just make you win the game. If you have any number of tokens, you swing in. Um, a lot of times your tokens are like three threes or you know two twos three threes four fours something like that because of all your anthems you swing in they can't really block or if they block they have to trade but then you just make a bunch more tokens and win the game so uh, very strong card and the hideaway is just a bonus effect if you happen to get it all right well that's the gist of the deck uh i think there could be some improvements to this deck um definitely we'll have to see but uh let's get into the games and try it out Okay, we got Skrelv's Hive off the bat. It's not bad. I think as long as we get a land, this is a good hand. Oh, Brew Lab. Hey! That's funny. But, oh. Vision of Tarkir. Alrighty. A little bit scary. No no blue source yet. I hope I did my lands correctly. I didn't check. Looks okay-ish. Maybe I'm maybe I don't have enough blue. Or 8, 10, 12, 14. No, it should be relatively okay. Um so we'll just wedding announcement here. I guess they're missing their black sources though. A little bit sad. Divin Devastator. Okay. Hey, blue, we got it. Um do we want to play our invasion? We could swing two into it, but I think we need to hold up the wandering emperor. So let us wait. Ooh, that's not a bad card. Oh, wow. Four damage to battle or opponent and one damage to a creature. All right, well, we can counter that. They're going to swing in, yeah. Okay, okay. So then now we can play this invasion of Segovia and we can flip it, I believe, and it will untap our creatures. Unless I am misunderstanding what this does. You know your end step, yeah. Alright. Uh and we can invoke some stuff. So I'm going to invoke for Rabble Rousing, I guess. Uh, 
Ooh, what do I want to get? Uh, how about another Rabble Rousing? Or maybe a wedding announcement. One, two, three, four. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> they get their dragon, though. Oh, you're right. I messed up. All right. Sorry. There's. I guess there's a slight delay. I don't know. I didn't put a delay on, but yeah, you are right. I messed that up. I was too excited. I was too excited about Untappish. But you are totally right. Um, all right. So what should we do here? I can convoke my Emperor, right? So I can play the Iconoclast. And I guess they probably don't want to trade. So let's just swing. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. <laughs> Eesh. Oh, they're blocking that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's one off lethal. Because I could have wandered Neppard. Um, we get to untap, so I'll just do this. And then... I'll make sure I have Wandering Emperor up this time. One, two, three, four. Alright. I guess I have a million green and white tokens, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Lantern Flare. I can cast that. Uh, Alright. Is it to any target? No, creature. Okay. <laughs> nice, 20 damage. Sheesh. Um, I could save my creatures, right? So, alright. Is that worth... Does this hit Planeswalkers? Each creature and opponent, no. Okay. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. But I'm gonna put it on the Iconoclast so it survives. Voice. Okay. Okay. It was pretty good. <laughs> Definitely, uh, I didn't expect it to go that hard, so... Alright, alright. Okay. I think this is... Yeah, this is fine. I probably don't even have the right build of this deck, to be honest. I just kind of threw... I mean, I, I thought about it, but there's so many enchantments and stuff that synergize, I didn't know what the best ones were. Like, I don't know if Tocasia's welcome is worth it or not. Oh, they got a Rod Priest down. That's not cool. I don't really want to counter that, but I might. Wait. All the, we got all the wedding announcements. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, I wonder if I should just play the trenches here. Actually, it might be better because then we'll have two twos.
see. What cards in this deck could... I think I trade this. Could maybe even have done a double, just in case. Yeah, I guess I should have. So we're gonna get to kind of go off next turn. Armed festival. I think this was a deck that was played like last meta. Did they put any new cards in here? Maybe I need a third Rebel Rousing. I mean, it just goes so well with this deck. I think Disappear's good. I think Disappear means I can counter their Storm. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. I think I'll swing with one. But I still want to make a token. All right. East color. Binoderm. What does that do? Four oil counters as trample as long as there's two or fewer counters on it. Otherwise, it has hex proof. That worth countering the five five. I don't really know if it is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nine. I mean, what what other thing are they gonna get though? It's bigger than that. So maybe maybe it is worth. I have to use casualty though. land though it's a little bit sad um guess i can just try to swing in i mean what is, how much can they do on the on the crack back three poison or like five six seven eight nine damage and damage yeah, I, don't know. I think it's probably worth like, they have to block at least one of these creatures, so. Don't they? Oh, no. I only have three attackers. What was I thinking? Uh, alright, we'll just swing with one then.
Okay. See what they get off the top. Loaded contaminators. They're gonna get. Oh. Okay. Okay. Guess they lose. Awesome. All right. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, even with this draw, I don't even think this was a good draw, and we still won, so... I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's something to this deck. Okay, we go first with this. Usually I would not keep a 2-lander, but the double Skrelv is calling to me, so I'm gonna try it. or more okay uh, let me go for that black white maybe it's black white tokens or I don't know there's could, I made a black white blink deck but I don't know if anybody else is playing that wait um, yeah I think we just Go for the Skrelves. A little mana if inefficient, but we're going to have a nice board, so I think it's worth. Right? Manic Sentry is a little bit sad. We will have Rabble Rousing soon. Wow, that worked out. Two lander into this. Don't see that very often. Um, I can't kill it with this yet, so I guess we just trench. Dun, dun, dun. Phyrexian. Ah, oh, black white Phyrexians. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Another sentry? No! What the heck? What are the odds? Alrighty. Um, I guess we we go for the ra rabble rousing. Hmm. Do I attack though? Let me think about this. Could swing on with this. If they block it, I could kill it. It also doesn't seem that good, though. Um, I guess it's just it's just a trade. I mean, sure, we can just we'll just do it. Um, Iconoclast, maybe. Sure. Yeah, I guess it's better because I can block with the other one. What happened there? Did they they mean to not block? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right, they're kind of doing the Phyrexian thing now. Interesting. But we have a bunch of a uh, bunch of our might tokens that are coming in. And they don't know about our Lantern Flare. Uh, let's see, which one do we want to kill? I guess we want to kill the Ilkor. Oh, we could also just exile it. I think we might need the Life Gain. Do we need the Life Gain? I'm gonna take six. I think we, we probably need the Life Gain. We're gonna do six here, yeah. All right. Maybe I'll hold this one back. Oh, but we get four tokens when I attack, so never mind. Oh, okay. Order, order. Come on, Josh. It's only one a.m. You should be playing better. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. See you, Iggy. Oh, and the scoop. All right. Well, guess there's no honor uh, in the, these people, but okay, we got it. Nice. Go first. All right. Looks pretty nice. We got iconoclast. Oh, Amazonian. Amazonian. Gonna kill my creature. Okay, no. It's not yet. Oh, there it is. All right. Wow, that's a cool land. Okay. Dun -dun. Do I want to kill this token? Or hold up the counter? I hope you're ready to lose. We must protect the people. I will be one. No. All right, that's bad. That is certainly bad. Um. Yeah, okay. We might be in trouble here. I guess that's that. Encounter their battle if they play it. Invasion of Bagatha. Um, I think this works. One for each creature you control. Oh my gosh, they have another! Oh man. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, that all will be one deck it is a little bit scary. Do I want to Lantern Flare their creature? Maybe. Alright. If we survive this, we might be in a good spot. Alright, that's 9 damage. Alright, wow. Almost, we almost came back. Uh, there was one turn I could have held up the counter spell. It would have probably stopped that. Once they get the all will be one down, it's pretty hard to deal with it. All right. Uh, yeah, that was it for the games in the early access event. Uh, we had some pretty sweet games there. And this deck, oh, this deck felt really good. To be honest, this deck feels really, really good. Uh, I can't, I can't even like state how good this feels. 
Um, I know we had some ups and some downs there, uh, but this get, this deck can really pop off. I, I even lost to this deck, so I mean that it means that it has potential on both sides of things. And this is definitely not the final form of the deck. Elish Norn is good. I don't know if it's worth. It's kind of a win more card because you either need seven mana to just go off right away, or you need four and then three the next turn. It's probably good. I just I don't know how many to play or what number. And I feel like you need some more early game. Uh, something down here. I, I really don't know, but maybe Rowls or Enforcements. It feels, it seems like a weak card, but maybe you just need it. So you just have some counters down. Uh, but I'm not sure. We'll have to play around and see. There's a few other cards I'm thinking about for the deck, but yeah, I'm not sure. But the deck feels good. Very solid. It definitely won more, way more games than it lost. And this card is so good. This card is really, really good. So, uh, yeah. This is a winner. Definitely, when the new set comes out, give it a shot. This deck is sweet. And I definitely recommend this deck. Alright. Until next time, though. See ya.